Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for April 12th of 2024 is titled Total Totality. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a number of different images of the total eclipse of April the 8th as seen from Durango, Mexico. Now this eclipse was visible over much of North America and in fact started in Mexico and moved its way up through parts of the United States and eastern Canada before heading off over the Atlantic Ocean. And if you were along that path of totality, the sun would have been completely blocked out by the moon, allowing you to see some of the outer regions of the sun that would not normally be visible. So we see a couple of things here. We can see the pink glow of solar prominences. This is material around the limb of the sun that is being lifted off by the sun's magnetic field. The sun's magnetic field gets all twisted and tangled because of the way the sun rotates. And when that happens, sometimes it just starts to pop out through the surface. Now the magnetic field will then lift the plasma from of which the sun is composed and raise that into uh, uh, the upper atmosphere. And we see that around the edge here. That pink glow is hydrogen gas that has been lifted off the surface of the sun and is now raining back down. And those we see those those can occur anywhere on the sun we see them on the limb of the sun because then they are silhouetted against the darkness of space making them much more visible than if we're trying to look at them against the much brighter sun. Now the other thing we see here as this is a set of images right around totality is what are called Bailey's beads. Now these occur because the moon is not a perfect sphere and it has mountains and valleys. So as it gets to that point of just blocking out the sun, sometimes sunlight sneaks through some of the lower lying areas. And that's what you can see here. And as you look towards the upper and lower images, you can see regions where the sunlight is still peeking through. So a little bit of sunlight through those lower areas then allows us to see these and they sometimes look like little beads, a string of beads around the edge of the sun. And you have to look closely for this and it occurs just at that instant, just those that short time right before the moon completely blocks out the sun and right as it is beginning to leave the sun again. So once it is beginning to allow the sun to be visible once again. So we see that on both edges here, we can see Bailey's beads as well as being able to see a number of different solar prominences around the edge of the sun. Now we see a lot of solar prominences because the sun is in a higher level of activity right now. It has activity that ranges with an 11 year cycle. So a few years ago in the eclipse of 2017, the sun was at a minimum and we would have seen far fewer solar prominences like this during that eclipse. Now we're approaching a maximum of activity and we're seeing far more of that around the edge of the sun in our image of the April 8th solar eclipse that we're looking at today. So that was our picture of the day for April 12th of 2024. It was titled Total Totality. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be palm tree pinholes. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.